Manabha friends, have you ever come across this problem where on a Mac you wanted to install Fortnite through the Epic Games Launcher, clicked on install and then it asked you to install the location, looks good, so click on install there and then you went to your downloads and while we were hoping that it would install and we will wait, so it says please wait for the install to start and we want to see our game installing and all of a sudden we get bam ah install failed isds1 error this basically means you do not have sufficient disk space to install fortnite you can see clearly i have 77.68 available while 93.17 gb is required so to solve this i am going to use a symlink without further ado let's get started Quit your Epic Games Launcher. Let me show you the Mac I'm running. As you can see clearly, I'm running Mac OS Catalina 10.15.6. What I'm showing you is on Catalina. It should work on any version of Mac. Even should work on Big Sur. Should. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, uh, I have created two partitions on my hard disk. As you can see, I have a Hitachi disk. And I have two partitions, container disk 1, container disk 2. To see this view, if you do not see this view, go on the top on the left and click on this button there and click on show all device. Create a partition to save your Fortnite game. I have two partitions, container disk 1 and container disk 2. Container disk 1 houses my game partition and you can see I have 219.86 gigs there. So Fortnite can be installed there while my Mac OS has 100 gigs only within which Mac OS data is there and Mac OS system is there. That is why I do not have sufficient space. What you can do is install a secondary drive to your Mac and you can create a symlink macOS installation to your other drive. To do that, remember you need to disable system integrity protection on a Mac. Scar the internet, it should be very clear. Since I'm creating a symlink in the same drive over different disks, I do not need to disable system integrity protection. All right, enough jargon there. Let's move forward. Let's close out our disk utility and let's go to the folder where our Fortnite was being installed. So click on go and we'll browse to users and shared. That means all users of the system will be able to play the game. So we'll see our users and the users we have shared and one of which we have Epic Games. We'll click the Fortnite. What we need to do first is to delete our Fortnite folder. So click on the gear icon there and select move to win. You can do it as if you want it. Uh, don't worry, we are safe. I'm just going to empty the bin for your confirmation. Don't worry, I mean, just delete Fortnite, whatever it was there. Now, after Fortnite has been deleted, to create the symlink clearly, we need to mimic the exact directory structure where Fortnite was being installed. Since it will be installed in user shared Epic Games, the folder where we are going to create the symlink, we need to mimic the same structure. So under games, I'm going to right click and create a new folder called users. Uh, under users, I'm going to click a new folder called shared. And under shared, I'm going to create a new folder called Epic Games. Keep in mind, please do not make a spelling mistake in naming your folders. If you make a spelling mistake, then it will not work. And remember, there's a space between Epic dash games. As you can see clearly, we have created the same folder structure what is there in the Mac OS drive. Now, to create the symlink, we need to open a terminal in our shared directory, which is in the Mac OS. So we click on shared, click on the gear icon, new terminal add folder. All right, when the terminal opens, I'm going to resize it and enlarge it so that you guys can see since the command is pretty long, I mean the command is short, but the path is pretty long, so you guys will be able to see clearly what I'm typing on screen. Once I have resized the terminal, okay, let me resize it. Uh, drag and dropping, <laughs> not drag and drop me, drag. 
Okay, let me type in pwd present working directory to show you an user shell. Now to create the symlink, I'm going to type in ln minus s. So create a link and which is a symlink target volume game user shell. And I just tap to remove the last backslash. Otherwise, your symlink will not work. Remember that that is very critical. Sources front slash users shared and then we write in epic backslash space games. All right, that's it. So we are creating a symlink from our user share epic games to the epic games in volumes wherever it is now i brought it close as soon as i hit enter you see a folder with a, a pointer has been created that means that folder is a symlink that's it just one command and we're good to go no software to download on a mac on windows you would need junction as i showed on windows all right uh that's it so let's get out of here and fire up our epic games launcher again so I'm launching up my Epic Games Launcher through Alfred. You guys might be having it. If not, please install it. Top-notch application. All right. So once our Epic Games Launcher, oh, we have a connection error. I'm going to be back when, when I fix this connection error. OK, now my connection error is fixed. And we are relaunching. And we are going into our Epic Games browser. OK, looks good. What we need to do is to go in a library. We, since we had installed it previously, it will be there. Click on the Fortnite install button there. And let's browse to the downloads folder to see whether our download starts up this time or not. So guys, what do you say? I mean, moment of truth coming up shortly, guys. Do you think it is going to work or not? <laughs> let's see. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, please wait. Initializing. Uh, my internet is slow or is epic games server slow initializing uh, come on don't make me wait make me wait so long and uh, even my viewers okay that's it see resuming and 2.99 mb this is the first part i mean 43.6 gigs 7.8 so looks good guys it worked yes Con con congratulations i mean it should work for you too just remember you need to disable system integrity protection if you are doing it over a different drive since I did it over the same drive in a different partition on the same disk, it I did not need to disable system integrity uh, system integrity protection. Can you see the beauty of my Hikmat? I mean, just to show you how clever I mean, how beautiful my Hikmat is. Let's say if we go on the internet, scar the internet to search for this problem ISDS1 on uh, on our favorite search engine. So we type an ISDS1, we see uh, it's there in autocomplete. So we hit enter and we'll go to the featured snippet where this link, the official Epic Games link is there. So we'll see how it can help us. We'll click on the link. And once the site opens, we'll see if Epic Games, uh, Epic Games is able to help us for the Mac. So it says free, free up space on your hard drive. If you're on a Mac, go here. So let's click there and it'll open an Apple support page. And Apple will tell you in detail how to free up storage space on your Mac. So, okay, and if you're on Mac OS high here or later, then you can do it in a different way. If you're on earlier, you have to do it in different ways. So first you have to find how much storage space there is on your Mac and manage storage on your Mac. Pretty good, store in iCloud. All right, uh, I, God forbid if you forget iCloud password. Optimize storage, empty trash automatically, reduce clutter. Um, let's go down and see, I mean, <laughs> what can I say? Where to find the settings for each of these features? Um, all right, optimize storage again, again, go down, again, Catalina, everything, okay, other ways that macOS helps automatically save space, how to free up sto space manually, learn more, uh, I don't know, okay, and this was published on May 26, 20, right? I mean, this is like the latest, uh, latest our support page they have, and I mean, they, I don't know if they don't have, if they have this idea of helping it, helping the users in this way, so was this helpful? No, it was not. So what what can I write there to tell them that how to make this article more helpful? Probably I'm just going to say, please include the uh, a link to my video description video uh, to my solution as detailed uh, solution as detailed in the uh, YouTube video uh, video on YouTube. Yeah, that's it. 
I haven't already published it, but I mean, just it's saying it says, please don't include in any personal information in your comments. So uh, it's okay. I mean, they, they won't know who wrote it, anyways. So uh, it says thanks for your feedback. And if you just see all questions on this article, you're gonna be like, I mean, it's it's just gonna be like hopeless. I mean, how many people are just struggling with this? Oh, <laughs> all right. So uh, I hopefully people find my video and it can help them. So this is the beauty of my Hikmat. And I mean, even Epic Games Launcher on your Mac will think that it is storing the games in the actual directory where Epic Games is trying to store it, which is user shared Epic Games. While in reality, you are saving it in a free space declared by a partition or include a I don't know, 10 TB uh, disk, uh, disk in your drive in your Mac to store all the Epic Games. I know not all, I mean, Epic Games of your choice, and you, you'll be good to go. Furthermore, I mean, let's say if that 10 TB drive fills up, uh, you, know, you know, and then what, what you're gonna do? Just swap another drive, and, and if you just name the drive the same, because the sim link remains the same, you'll be good to go. Just copy over all the games which are stored in your 10 TB drive, to your 20 TB drive or your 100 TB drive. <laughs> It'll just work out of the box. I mean, like some some guy from Apple's used to say, it just works. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, hopefully, um, hopefully you see the beauty of my Hikmat if in the solution. All right, that's it guys. Hopefully you liked what you saw. And if you want to solve this problem on Windows, you should click on the video I have on screen. That will be coming on screen shortly. If you want to save your Fortnite installation, if you've already downloaded a part of Fortnite and you don't want to re-download it again, click on the other video to fix ISDS1 on Windows. Or probably you want to see how I created by partitions on a Mac using disk utility where I show all the operations, then you should click on the other video link. See you guys in, the, in those other videos. Take care. Thank you so much. Stay safe.